India just no. made history. Under Project Vishnu, India has successfully tested a cutting-edge hypersonic missile called the ETLDHCM. That stands for Extended Trajectory Long Duration Hypersonic Cruise Missile. This isn't just another missile. This is a next-generation weapon that can fly at Mach 8, eight times the speed of sound, and hit targets 1,500 to 2,500 kilometers away in mere minutes. Let's break down what this missile is, how it works, and why it's a massive leap forward for India's defense. What is a hypersonic missile? Hypersonic missiles are weapons that fly faster than Mach 5. That's five times the speed of sound. To give you perspective, a passenger jet flies at around 900 kilometers per hour, a hypersonic missile over 6,000 kilometers per hour, and often much faster. Now, there are three major types of hypersonic missiles. First, hypersonic ballistic missiles. These are traditional ballistic missiles that reach hypersonic speeds during their flight path. They are very powerful, but because they follow a fixed, predictable arc through the sky, modern missile defense systems can more easily track and try to shoot them down. Second, hypersonic glide vehicles, launched on rockets, HGVs separate from the booster, and glide toward targets at hypersonic speeds. What makes them dangerous is their ability to maneuver mid-flight, making them extremely difficult to track or shoot down. Third, hypersonic cruise missiles. These are the most complex and hardest to build. They use scramjet engines that burn fuel while traveling through the atmosphere at hypersonic speeds, maintaining both speed and agility at low altitudes. And that's what India just tested, a hypersonic cruise missile. India's hypersonic cruise missile can reach speeds of Mach 8. That's over 11,000 kilometers per hour. Its range, up to 2,500 kilometers. It can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads with payloads between 1,000 to 2,000 kilograms. That makes it incredibly versatile, useful in both full-scale wars and precise strategic strikes. But the real hero here, the scramjet engine, it's a special type of jet engine that works only at extremely high speeds. Unlike rocket engines, scramjets don't carry oxygen. They pull it from the air, making the missile lighter, faster, and more fuel efficient. DRDO successfully tested this scramjet engine for over 1,000 seconds, proving that India's engine technology is now world-class. But speed alone isn't enough. What really sets the ETLDHCM apart is how it flies. It flies at low altitudes, staying below radar coverage. It can change direction mid-flight, dodging enemy defenses. It uses real-time navigation and advanced guidance systems to hit its target with surgical precision, even after flying over 1,500 kilometers and performing multiple turns. Add to that its multi-platform capability. It can be launched from land, sea, or air. And you have a missile that's not just fast, but versatile and nearly undetectable. The global hypersonic race. Until now, only Russia, China, and the United States had hypersonic missile capabilities. Now, India joins this exclusive group. Russia has operational systems like Avangard, Kinjal, and Zircon. China has the DF-17 with the DF-ZF glide vehicle, while the US is developing many hypersonic systems. India's entry is special because it developed this advanced technology largely on its own. With systems like ETLDHCM, India is expected to operationalize hypersonic weapons by 2030, putting it on par with the world's top defense powers. The ETLDHCM missile changes everything for India's defense. Speed is the biggest advantage. At Mach 8, this missile is almost three times faster than the BrahMos missile. If fired from Delhi, it can reach Karachi in about eight minutes. This leaves almost no time for the enemy to respond. The missile is nearly impossible to stop. Current missile defense systems are built to stop slower, predictable missiles. Hypersonic missiles that can change direction are much harder to intercept. The ability to maneuver at low altitudes makes it difficult to detect and intercept. This missile gives India a strong deterrent effect. When enemies know that India can strike anywhere within 1,500 kilometers in minutes, they will be much more careful about any aggressive actions. For regional balance, this missile ensures that India can match any threat from neighboring countries. It strengthens India's nuclear deterrent and gives new options for conventional warfare. 